In this video, I'm going to review the Toner TC777 USB Condenser Microphone. Check it out! Hey, my name is Matthew Stratton, helping you create music and record audio. On this channel, I do setup videos, tutorials, unboxings, and reviews exactly like this one. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Before we go any further, I do want to thank Toner for sending this microphone for me to review. There was no money exchange other than they sent me this microphone to get a review and we did not agree on me saying anything in particular about this review. Let's get into it. So let's start off by showing you what is actually in the box when you open it. So you get the Toner instruction manual right here. This shows you how to set it up on Mac and PC. You got your service card. So if you need to get in contact with them, they got the website and then the email for support here. And then we get this here, which is like a windscreen that you could put on there. Now you also get this pop filter. It comes installed with this pop filter and you get your USB microphone, of course. And that USB microphone is on a shock mount. And you can see it in this configuration right here. We got our shock mount that's right here and it has four rubber bands within that shock mount. That's just gonna help absorb any kind of vibration that goes on with this microphone so it's a little bit quieter. And then you got your stand right here. This is a basic tripod configuration and you can tilt this up to 180 degrees. Now right here is the pop filter. It comes installed like this. Now what I would suggest if you're going to use this microphone, it's actually to flip the microphone around once you get it. All right, now the front of the microphone is here. You wanna be sure to actually set up the front of the microphone where it says toner in the front here and have that part facing you. And then you wanna take this right here, which is the pop filter and put it in front of that. So now you have the correct configuration to actually tilt this microphone. So it's actually pointing up at you when you have this microphone sitting on your desk. The setup of this microphone is really straightforward. All you need to do is simply plug the USB cable directly into your computer. And as soon as you do that, your computer is gonna recognize it and it's gonna start setting it up. And it might take a few seconds to set it up. And then once it's set up, all you have to do is go into your settings and go ahead and adjust the levels in your settings and you're good to start recording. Setting up a device. And you can see it says we're setting up that device right there. And then it says device is ready and it says what microphone it is. And Windows went ahead and automatically set that up as a plug and play device. So I plugged it into Windows and I didn't have to download any drivers. And now it's ready to work inside of my PC. I do wanna show you how this microphone shows up within your audio settings because how you get to your settings is a little bit different than what was in the books, at least for Windows 10. Um, so I, I want to show you that. So if you go down here, right here where there's a speaker, if you right click that, what you can do is actually go to open sound settings. Now if you look at the top, it says sound and then output. Now there is no output device set up because I don't have anything plugged in. I want to plug in my headphones. All right, I'm going to pick headphones. All right, this way we'll be able to monitor what we record. And then you can see right here, now my output is set up for my headphones. All right, and you can see the input device here is the actual microphone, the Toner TC777 audio device. So that's already pre-selected for us. If you click here, you can get into your device properties. You can click test and you can see the audio coming in. And I'm pretty far away from the microphone and that's why we're not getting um, a large signal. So if you boost this up, you're gonna get more of a signal coming in and you know, our test is complete at that point. Now, another way to kind of set your levels is over here in the sound control panel. All right, so I do want to show you this just in case this comes up for you. Now you got your playback and you got your recording. If you click on recording, you can actually see the Toner TC777 audio device here. And if you tap properties there, we're going to be able to go into levels and we can set our level here. And we can see right there where it's coming up green. Uh, we could change our input settings. And if we turn it down, we're not gonna see any green, but if we turn it back up, we're gonna be able to see green in this area for the microphone. Okay, and once we set our microphone input, we can click okay. We can click okay here. We can get out of these settings. 
So everything's set up. Now I do want to test this out for you so you can hear like actually what this thing sounds like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Audacity, which is a free software that anybody could download. And I'm just going to record the audio straight into Audacity so we can hear what it sounds like. So here is Audacity. The first thing we need to make sure of is we have our microphone set up here and you can see where there's an actual picture of the microphone. That means that's our input. So if we go and click that, we can see we have the correct input, which is this actual microphone. All right, and then we can choose stereo or mono. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but this is a mono device. So I'm just going to simply select mono. Now, right here, this is our output. So that's already set there. Now up here, you're going to see something and it's a little microphone. It says recording levels. If you click right there, we're going to be able to get to recording levels. Now you can see this is coming in really hot right here. So we can simply turn down the level with this slider here. So there's a slider over here that has a microphone. There's a minus on one side and a plus on the other side. And we can adjust our input right here. So basically we don't want this to go all the way up into the red. So um, if we leave it all the way to the plus, you can see we're in the red. If you bring it down, now I don't need to bring it down a lot, but you can see if I bring it down, we're going to be around minus 18, minus 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record in this position. I'm actually like probably about two feet away from the input device. So let's say you were streaming or something to that nature and you had this microphone sitting on your desk about a couple feet away from your mouth. This is what this would sound like. I'm going to go ahead and test this. Now, before I do actually test this, I want to tell you that I am using the Boya BYM1. This is um, a very inexpensive microphone that you can get off of Amazon. It's plugged right into my camera that is in front of me. So that's the audio you're hearing now. So what I'm going to do is record the audio onto the computer from this USB microphone. This is a quick test of the Toner TC77 microphone. It's simply sitting on the counter in front of me, on the desk in front of me, and I'm not very close to it. So this pop filter is probably not doing a whole lot since I'm not speaking directly into the microphone. So I want to listen back to it. This is a quick test of the Toner TC77 microphone. It's simply sitting on the counter in front of me, on the desk in front of me. And I'm not very close to it, so this pop filter is probably not doing a whole lot since I'm not speaking directly into the microphone. All right, so that sounded pretty good. There wasn't a lot of noise. The audio sounded clear. But what you did hear is the sound of the room. And one of the ways we can kind of minimize the sound of the room is to get the microphone a little bit closer to our mouth. So. What we could do is actually put this on another stand. That's a good thing about this particular microphone is you can take this stand off and you can actually use this microphone on a different stand of your choosing. So for the next test, I'm going to use this on stage tabletop microphone stand. I'm going to screw the microphone directly on here. I'm going to put this on the table and it's going to bring the microphone a little bit closer to my mouth. And this way, we're going to get more of the audio going from my mouth directly into the microphone and we're going to hear less of the room noise into the microphone. All right, so at this point I have the microphone on the stand here and it is about that far away from my mouth, which is a good distance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test recording with this, but before I do that, I'm going to check the levels by tapping monitor and we're about minus 12 or a little bit hot. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. All right, and again, the whole point of setting your levels is so when you get loud, you can see the maximum went to about minus six right there, and it didn't exceed zero. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do a test recording with this configuration right now. All right, I just press record on Audacity. This is a quick test of the Toner TC77 microphone. I'm peaking about minus 12, and this is what it sounds like with the microphone. Um, a little bit closer to my mouth, maybe six inches away from my mouth, and it does have the pop filter on it, and this is what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and listen to that back.
All right, I just press record on Audacity. This is a quick test of the Toner TC77 microphone. I'm peaking about minus 12, and this is what it sounds like with the microphone. Um, a little bit closer to my mouth, maybe six inches away from my mouth, and it does have the pop filter on it, and this is what it sounds like. So there's what the microphone sounds like going into Audacity, having it on the stand here. So I wanna take this a little bit further. I wanna normalize this audio inside of Audacity so we can hear what this sounds like, basically with it peaking at minus one dB. And this way we can kind of hear what the noise floor is whenever the mic was sitting on the desk compared to the mic being directly in front of our mouth or in front of my mouth. Let's do that. Control A, effects, and then right here is normalize, and I want to do it to minus one dB for the amplitude. So let's go ahead and listen to this. This is a quick test of the Toner TC77 microphone. It's simply sitting on the counter in front of me, on the desk in front of me, and I'm not very close to it, so this pop filter is probably not doing a whole lot since I'm not speaking directly into the microphone. So that's sitting on the test. This is it with the microphone closer to my mouth. I just wanna do a quick mic test of the Toner TC77 microphone. This is what the microphone sounds like with the microphone placed about six inches from my mouth. So I want you to pay attention to that background noise. There was a little bit of hiss whenever it was sitting on the table. Um, not very close to me and my desk um, isn't very high. So if your desk is a little bit higher, you probably don't have to boost the gain as much within Windows. But in my case, I had to boost the gain a bit to get the microphone levels up. And you can hear in the second example, the audio is a lot clearer because I had the microphone closer to my mouth on the stand and it was about six inches away from that mouth. And I didn't have to boost the gain inside of Windows so much. For the last part of the review, I'm going to use the TC777 exclusively, but I do want to talk about a few things as far as how they advertise this on Amazon's website. So if you look on Amazon's website, you can clearly see the configuration they have it in to where the, uh, you know, the pop filters on the front there and the toner is facing on the opposite end of the stand. And that's the configuration I currently have this in. So this way you can actually tilt the microphone to actually face you, all right? So that's how that's set up there. So I do wanna show you this other picture that they have here. It says plug and play, no need for any driver software or audio interface, which is exactly what I showed you. We plug it right into the computer and we were able to bring it up very easily inside of Audacity. And it says it's compatible with Zoom, Go to Meeting, Google Meet. So if you wanted to use this for meetings or what have you online, this is gonna be a way to kind of replace like your laptop speaker or your laptop microphone because generally speaking your laptop microphones aren't that great so this is going to give you a little bit better quality for that purpose now it does say it's available for laptop and desktop for windows mac and linux and the ps4 now notice it does not say xbox okay or ipad or phones so it's not compatible with xbox ipad or phones all right and if you look at this part it says clear and crisp sound to obtain the best pickup effect it's recommended to use the mic at 70 percent volume with a distance of 15 to 30 centimeters now that's kind of contradictory to what they're saying down here and let's find it let's find it all right it says three to five inches all right so this is from the Seller Toner Tech. It says, set the input and output level of the microphone on your computer around 60 to 80%, which is a little bit different than 70%, but it's still within the ballpark. It says, keep the pickup distance around three to five inches. And as I said, I do have it about maybe five to six inches away from my mouth right now. Um, maybe a little less when I lean into it. And it says, speak straight in front of the microphone, cast castable. That's why I have the microphone on the stand so I can speak into it it's rather than having it on my desk and further away. And then it says, you will get good sounding with the lowest background noise. As we heard earlier, when I had the microphone on my desk further away, there was a lot of background noise. When I have it in front of me, I can set the gain about 70%, 75%, and I get good 
you know, signal to noise ratio is what you would call that. And, you know, there you go. So I think this is the idea configuration for this microphone, how I have it now. And that's going to give you the best audio. Now, I do want to mention this is a cardioid pickup pattern. So it's going to pick up in front of the microphone, maybe a little bit at the side here, but it's not going to pick up in the back. So if you have anything loud, put it on this side of the microphone back here. <laughs> All right. So if you have, I don't know, I don't know, maybe your computer has like a loud fan. Make sure your computer's on the other side of the microphone and that way you'll hear less of the computer going into the diaphragm of the microphone. It'll sound a little bit better for you. And the next little slide here, we got 10 centimeters, four inches for the pop filter. So um, there you go. That's everything right there that comes with it. We already covered all this stuff. Uh, and then we got the stand. All right, it's a stackable anti-skid stand. So it does have rubberized feet at the bottom of it. And it does go like this. And you can collapse it if you want to take it with you somewhere. So there you go as far as the stand. And uh, we covered this earlier, so you have a tilt at 180 degrees. Now keep in mind, you do need the front of the microphone um, in the correct position to be able to tilt this properly. All right, and then, you know, that's everything that comes with it here, and we covered that already. All right, so who is this microphone good for? They're advertising this microphone to be good for uh, gamers, number one. That's the first thing they have right here in the description, so that's who they want this microphone to be for, but it's also good for... Streaming, chatting, podcasting, recording, Skype, voiceover, YouTube, video, etc. So if you did want to do a YouTube video with this, this is what it would actually sound like for you. You can hear my voice directly inside of the capsule here. This is what a YouTube video would sound like using this particular microphone. So this would be good for streaming. So maybe you want to use, you know, like a Logitech camera like this or a little USB camera and maybe you don't like the audio quality on that little camera, you can get better quality with a USB microphone. It's definitely re recommended to, you know, not use the microphone on here if you want good streaming quality, especially if, like for YouTube videos, etc. Now, as far as the build quality goes, the microphone itself is plastic. So I would recommend keeping the box so you can throw it in the box if you do want to travel somewhere. You know, the box is shaped perfectly for it. So you would just fit it back in there. And, um, you know, you would have a nice case for it. If you did want to throw it in your bag, you have a nice box that you could put it into. I wouldn't recommend just throwing it in your bag uh, because it is plastic. So if you throw something else in your bag that might run into it, you know, it's plastic. So just be considerate with it. Take care of it. Now, as far as the USB cable, uh, I don't know how long it is. It's maybe, what, one, two, three, four feet long. Um, let's see. Maybe it says on here. All right. Here it is. 1.5 meters. So there you go. That's how long that is. All right. So yeah, this is good right here. There's no volume control. The sampling rate is 44.1 kilohertz at 16 bits. The polar pattern is cardioid. The frequency response is at 100 hertz to 16 kilohertz. The sensitivity is at minus 38 dB to plus minus 3 dB. The output impedance is 680 ohms. The max XPL is 110 dB. And then the signal to noise ratio is at 56 dB. Again, I'll leave a link for this microphone and this mic stand in the description. If you do want to check out these items, feel free to browse the description of this video and you can kind of get a little bit more information about this microphone and mic stand. Now, I do think this is going to be a great upgrade from a microphone like that's built into a webcam from a microphone that's built into a tablet or a laptop from any kind of microphone like that, a microphone that's built into your camera. Um, for the price now, they, it looks like the price kind of fluctuates. Uh, right now it is at $42 on Amazon for Amazon Prime and there's free returns on it and it's in stock. Now for me, I think the biggest issue would be the plastic build. I wouldn't just throw this in your bag, keep the box so you can put it in the box and um, you know, not worry, worry about cracking the plastic. And, you know, you want to take care of your stuff anyway. I did like the fact that it was plug and play. I tried it on two different computers and um, there were two different PC computers and my personal computers recognized it right away. It set it up within seconds. So I was able to use it correctly and right away. And um, you know, it shows up just fine in Audacity and that is what I'm using to record the audio that you're hearing right now. All right, so yeah, this is a great entry level microphone if you're looking for better audio for your voice. 
But again, if you want to get it in a good position and your desk is low, I do recommend upgrading the stand for that to get the microphone in a good position so you could speak directly into the diaphragm of the microphone. And hey, let me know what you think about the audio quality of this microphone. Does it sound good? Does it sound bad? Uh, let me know in the description if you think it sounds okay. And, you know, that's it. This is my review of the Toner TC777 microphone. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. My name's Matthew. Continue creating your music and recording your audio. And we'll talk soon.